We have to open up in St. Louis, Missouri. We just went there, what, last month? Baptized, nine, baptized 112. And then the following week, we went to Kansas City. We baptized 94. Uh, we were in Cleveland, baptized 101. The following week, we were scheduled to go in Cincinnati, but the place that we were renting shut down because of the uprise of COVID. And I knew that God had souls reserved for us there. Uh, in Milwaukee, where we started the new work there, we baptized, 100 was baptized there. So every place we go, brothers and sisters, as you can see, it's a ready-made congregation. All we need is faithful men who know how to maintain that ready-made congregation. Faithful men. Not the one who's going to start out as a brother and the next week later he's Hitler's cousin. Besides coming in humble into the church, he got a duck march coming down the aisle. You know, the pulpit is a place of authority in this place. A lot of men can't handle It's almost like spreading a table of cocaine. They get high off power, high off authority and then start saying God said things that God ain't never said. <laughs> Me and Brother Minister Shabazz was in the office and he was telling me about uh, false prophets here and hollering and he was telling about one false prophet. Who, you know, you got to have a conscience that's like ice to lie and tell you God say something. If God did not say it. He said one false prophet got over the air and prophesied that the Lord told him. That Pastor Jennings going to get so big and the Lord showed him that I was in a limousine being chauffeured with about seven or eight homosexuals. Wow. He said the Lord showed him this. Can you imagine? Now, do you hate me that bad? That you would actually lie on the Lord? Am I therefore become your enemy? Give William some more juice, John. Listen at this. In the book of Galatians chapter 4 and at verse 16. Crank them up louder, crank them up louder, crank them up louder, crank them up louder. Galatians chapter 4 and verse 16. All right, listen at this from the Apostle Paul. Am I therefore become your Am enemy? Am I therefore become your enemy? Because I tell you the truth. <laughs> because I tell you what's right. That's right. If you hate me, just hate me. That's it. Don't belittle yourself and lie on our Lord. That's right. Give chapter and verse again. That was in Galatians chapter 4 and verse 16. Now God did not tell Yosemite Sam nothing. No. You fellas just need to stop this play in church. That's right. Just say I can't stand Pastor Jennings. I can respect that respect honesty. That. But don't lie and say God said, God said. that I'm going to get so big mm. I'm going to be chauffeured in a limousine with about seven to eight homosexuals. Because see, brothers that know me know, one, mm -hmm. I don't like limousines. That's right. Strike one. See, brothers that know me know. Pastor Jenny don't like limousines. That's right. I can't stand limousines. Amen. Strike one, Pastor. Strike one. <laughs> Not only that, why would I have a car full of homosexuals. Mm -hmm. I'm not homo. No. No. Are you indirectly confessing your sins? <laughs> Amen. Am I right? That's right. That's right. That's really sorry. You know, I, I would not be this consumed over one human being that's right. that I would just lie on God like this. That's right. It's embarrassing. Yeah. 
Pastor Jennings, if you ever see Pastor Jennings surrounded by homosexuals, rest assured you I'm preaching to them. Amen. You will find me preaching to them. That's right. So I don't hang out with homosexuals. The Lord didn't tell you nothing. No. At all. At all. Who is he that say it? Prove it, Pastor Jennings. Give me the book of Lamentations. Lamentations chapter 3 and verse 37. Oh, you're ready today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Listen. Lamentations chapter 3 and verse 37. Yeah, I asked Shabazz. I said, wait a minute. They actually said this over the air because I don't listen at the preachers down here. No. Amen. Did, did they say it, Brother Young? Now to my viewers in Mobile, Alabama, it was said that mm. Pastor Jennings is supposed to be riding around with about seven to eight limousine, Lord. in a limousine with seven to eight homosexuals. Mm. And the Islamic community, mm -hmm. please, if you know the gentleman that said this, give him some help. <laughs> That's right. Get him some help. That's right. I would never be so jealous and hateful about a person. I would lie on God. No. The book of Lamentation says. Lamentations 3 and verse 37. What is it? Who is he that Who said? Who is he that said? And it comes and to it pass. And it comes to pass. When the when Lord commanded it not. And said nothing. That's right. That's right. When God said something, it has to be. It has to be. It just has to be. Has to be. Don't you know how dangerous it is to lie on Jehovah? That's right. Whenever this is how you know a true prophet in the book and a false prophet in the book of Deuteronomy chapter 18 I'm going to start at verse 20 follow me in the Bible John turn Williams up <coughs> some more just 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 turn him up I don't you see I got a big mouth amen <laughs> notice how he say amen to that <laughs> All right, uh, let's go to work. Now to all of my viewers mm -hmm. around the world. Amen. Beware of men. Beware. Who always say, thus saith yeah. the Lord. That's right. Them are the most dangerous words. That's right. That come out of the mouth of men. Amen. Some prophesy out of personal feelings. Yeah. And out of anger and out of hatred, not because of God. No. So they want to appear to be divine. That's right. Appear to be righteous. That's right. In every country, you have men like this. Yeah. You have men like this, no one don't even know them. That's right. And you have men like this, world renowned. Yeah. Old. Thomas can bear witness back in the 30s and 40s you had a false prophet named Father Divine yeah. who said he was God back in the 30s 40s and 50s you had another renowned false prophet named Sweet Daddy Grace yeah. who claimed he was apostolic That's right. his hair came down past his shoulders and he let his nails grow two and three inches long until they twist. Yeah. Some of the women in the church were dressed like belly dancers. Yeah. Before you went inside of Father Divine Falls Church, you touched a picture. Mm -hmm. There was a big picture of Father Divine and you had to touch it and say it, uh, Peace Father. I know it. When Daddy Grace was living, all the songs that had the name Jesus, the name Jesus was taken out of all the lyrics. Mm. You know how you're saying mine, 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 Jesus is mine. Yeah. Well, when Daddy Grace was living, they took the name Jesus out of all songs and put in Sweet Daddy. And they say, mine, 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 Sweet Daddy is mine. My Lord. <laughs> Oh, 
Are you listening? My Lord, my Lord. Fake prophecies. Fake prophecies. Now, viewers, remember, mm -hmm. hear the old troublemaker now. I want to trouble your soul. Amen. A man, regardless of who he is, can prophesy, jump, walk on his hands, mm -hmm. scream like James Brown, mm -hmm. spin around in your church. You that came from false churches, have you ever witnessed false prophets supposed to have this great anointing? And they get real dramatic, supposed to be prophesying, stopping, rubbing their legs. Ooh, thus saith the Lord, like Casper the ghost. That's right. All that shit rattle and roll like he's little Richard's twin. That's right. If God haven't said it, that noise, noise don't mean nothing. That's right. That's right. I want to work on false prophecies mm -hmm. and lying on God. That's right. And if you lie on God, can you be forgiven? Mm. If you lie mm. against the Holy One of God, can you be forgiven? How many forms of blasphemy is it? Your most, most preachers preach one form of blasphemy. And that's blaspheme against the Holy Ghost. But there's two forms. That's right. That Jesus preached. In the book of St. Matthew chapter 12 and we'll start at verse 31. Follow me. Wherefore I say unto you, all manner of sin and blasphemy shall be forgiven unto all you. All manner of sin and blasphemy, and blasphemy shall be forgiven unto shall you. Shall be forgiven. But the blasphemy. But. The blasphemy. Focus on the language of scripture. But. But. The blasphemy. The blasphemy. Against the Holy Ghost. Against God. Shall not be forgiven unto men. Shall not be forgiven unto men. And whosoever speaketh a word against the Son of Man. And whoever speaketh against the Son of Man or the Son of God. It shall be forgiven him. It'll be forgiven him. But whosoever speaketh against the Holy Ghost. What happened? It shall not be forgiven him. How? Neither in this world, neither in the world to come. I want everybody to listen. That's right. This is a message of listening and listening. learning. That's right. So I'll see what Pastor Jennings, I spoke against the Holy Ghost. I spoke against God when I was a sinner. I didn't know no better. Didn't know no better. All right, let's get the Apostle Paul. I have to get that straightened out too. In the book of First And then we'll shift gears and come back. That's right. That's right. Go ahead, Paul. Because I'm pretty sure many of us in here is guilty. Oh, yes. yes many of us have spoke against God out of ignorance. That's right. Spoke against God hastily. That's right. But after you've been taught, yeah. come on. Come on, come on. and you deliberate, deliberately, and you are deliberate in your actions out of anger. Right. You see, if I'm angry with Bishop Williams, I'm not going to lie and say, God said God. such and such a thing concerning Bishop Williams. That's right. When I know God didn't say nothing. That's right. That's right. Why do men do this? To make themselves appear to be great. Yeah. And a authoritative figure. That's right. And to appear to have this great anointing. Yes. To bring fear to their followers. That's right. Whether it's five or five hundred. That's right. Now, if you spoke against God yeah. ignorantly, ignorantly, you're in a different category. That's right. Listen. In 1 Timothy chapter 1 and at verse 13. I want to take my time and soak you real good. Amen. Amen. All right. 1 Timothy chapter 1 and verse 13. Who was before a blasphemer. Begin at verse 12. At verse 12. And I thank Christ Jesus our I Lord. I thank Christ Jesus. Our Lord. Our Lord. Who hath enabled me. He hath enabled me. For that he counted me faithful, putting me into the ministry. Yes. Who was before a Paul past. reached back That's right. at his past. That's right. Before God put him in the ministry, what was he? Who was before a blasphemer. 
He was a blasphemer. Yes, sir. And a persecutor. He was a persecutor. And injurious. He would hurt you physically. But, but injurious mm -hmm. mean he would physically bring you pain. Yes. But but I obtained mercy. Why? Because I did it ignorantly yes. in unbelief. Amen. Ignorantly. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I did it in ignorance. And what state of mind was he in? In unbelief. That's good. Ahead, That's right. That's good. So therefore, he was guilty of his actions, yeah. but yet innocent of his actions. That's right. He was guilty because what he'd done was wrong and he sinned. That's right. Innocent because he didn't know no better. Mm -hmm. Are you listening? That's right. That's right. Blaspheme against the Son of Man. That's the Son of Man. An example, when you deny that Jesus Christ, the Son of God, ever came into the world. That's right. That's the Antichrist. That's right. You know, that's what they over there, I'm told, saying about Pastor Jennings, I'm an antichrist. Oh, that's another dream that false prophets supposed to said over the air that Pastor Jennings is going to lead the people to the antichrist. My God, my God. <laughs> they really tuned in on Geno Jennings, aren't they? Yes, they are. Yes, sir. Little children. I'm going to lead you to the antichrist. I am? Oh, my Lord. They really locked in on me. They locked in on you, Pastor. Why am I going to lead the people to the Antichrist? <laughs> Why am I going to do it? That's right. That's the devil out of hell. That's right. Because this work, the hand of God, is just deep in it. Yeah. I mean, not just his finger, his, whole, his hand is in his it. His hand is in it. And God is manipulating circumstances. That's right. That's right. Everywhere That's God right. is doing it, God and is. I can say it loud God and is doing it. bold and amen, and got all of heaven as a backing along with it. That's right. Hallelujah. Glory to God. That's right. Amen. I don't have some of heaven as my backing. <laughs> amen. I have all of heaven. That's right. One amen. One. And I mean all of it. All of it. Thank God. Glory to God. That's right. Byron, I got all heaven as my backing here. Amen. Amen. The hand of God is manipulating circumstances. That's, that's right. Seeing to it. That's right. That his word is preached. That's right. And allowing the public to witness his mighty hand in ways that this generation have never witnessed. That's right. Viewers, I advise you, don't miss it. Take advantage of it. Amen. Take advantage of it. Oh, yes. Listen at this. Now in 1 John chapter 1 and ver chapter 2 and verse 18. That's what? Little children, it is Little the last children, time. Little children, it is what? It is the last time. It's the last time. And as ye have heard that Antichrist shall come. The Antichrist will come. Even now there are many Antichrists. There are what? Many, many. Antichrists. They many. say Pastor Jennings is the Antichrist. My Lord. They say Pastor Genesis is the Antichrist oh, because he says Jesus is not in heaven. I ain't never told yeah, that lie. I never said that. Jesus not in heaven? Not in heaven. He's not. My Lord. Jesus, I serve is in heaven Amen. above. And he's lower than hell. That's right. Broader than the sea and longer than the earth. That's right. Why? He's God. God. Amen. Jesus Christ is God. That's right. Well, Pastor Jennings, he's the son of God. I take that. So he is. Sure he, is. he bears the title son of God. He's still, listen, he's not a son with natural life. That's right. But he still is called son in the glorified life. In Revelation chapter 2 and verse 18. Well, thank God I've been preaching this for over 43 years. Yes, you have. We ain't just start preaching it. No. It's, Amen. That's it's right. just too deep for you novices. That's right. You milkmen. Milk milk, men. It's for them that are unskillful. That's right. In the word of righteousness, but meat is for them that is of a full age. Full age. That's right. Are you getting what I'm telling? That's right. Blaspheme against the Son of Man. Blasphemy. Denying that Jesus came here. Yeah. Denying that Jesus died. Yes. Blaspheme against the Son of Man. That's right. When you say Jesus took blood into heaven. Yeah. That's blaspheme. That's blaspheme. Because Jesus told us something different. That's right. He told Paul that flesh and blood cannot. Cannot. 
inherit the kingdom of God. Now this I say, brother. This I say, brother. The, that flesh and blood, that flesh and blood cannot, cannot inherit the kingdom of God. Inherit God's kingdom. That's right. That's blasphemy. That's blasphemy. Against the Son of Man. That's right. When you say Jesus never rose, yeah. blaspheme. Blasphemy. Against the Son of Man. That's right. Well, you can be forgiven if you blaspheme. That's what so Jesus said. And whosoever speaketh whoever the word, speaketh against, against, the the word man, against the Son of Man, it shall be forgiven. He can be forgiven. But, but whosoever speaketh the word, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead, man. Yes, sir. You better come on back to Bible. That's right. All of you religious people. That's right. Jumping and shouting and going to some church. Mm -hmm. Worshiping us in a cesspool mm. of blasphemy. That's right. When you got an image on your cross yeah. now, that's blasphemy. Right now. Right. Yeah. Why? Wow, that's a lie up there. He ain't on no cross. No. You can wear a blaspheme. That's right. You can live blaspheme. Can live That's right. Listen. But whosoever speaketh against the Holy Ghost. Whoever speaketh against God. It shall not be forgiven him. How? Neither in this wait, world. Wait, wait a minute. How strong is it? It shall not be forgiven him. How strong is it? Neither in this world. Neither in the world to come. That's strong. Now, God will not forgive you. That's right. When you know better. That's right. When you know better. When you do it ignorantly, he'll forgive you. That's right. But anytime you say, the Lord said this, Lord. the Lord showed you the other. Yeah. You false prophet that said, the Lord show you I'm going to get so big, mm. I'm going to be in the limousine being chauffeured by homosexuals. My Lord. And I'm going to have about seven or eight homosexual men in the car with me. My Lord. Three strikes. Bro. I'm not like you. No. <laughs> Three strikes. I'm a man. That's right. I'm a man from the hood. <laughs> That's right. Ain't nothing gay about me. No. That's right. Brothers that ride with me, we're men. We're men. Am I right, brothers? That's right. Yes, That's it. Come on, brothers. Now we have some men here mm -hmm. that struggle with homosexuality, mm -hmm. and I preach God's word to them. That's right. Why? I want to exchange sugar with salt. That's right. Go and take God because salt is good. That's right. That's right. Our gospel is just that strong. Just that strong. That's Amen. Right. That we can knock the sugar out of you. Amen. That you may become a good, humble, salty brother. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not I inherit? love salty men. <laughs> That's right. I don't I, I don't get glory out of sugar men. Sugar men. No. Amen. No. I like sugar crisp, but I don't want sugar men. No. Glory to God. That's right. <laughs> Blaspheme against God. Mm -hmm. Now let us see how we recognize the false prophet in the Old Testament when they prophesy and it don't come to pass, mm -hmm. when they prophesy out of assumption, out of personal feeling, out of personal emotion. In the book of Deuteronomy chapter 18. I want to trail this. Yes. Follow me, viewers. Follow me, viewers. Because if you go on social media, you see a lot of nuts, lot. men and women. Just advertising. I got a prophetic word today. <laughs> I mean, there's a whole lot of these fellas. A lot of A prophetic word today. My Lord. My Lord. Like some woman that uh, supposed to have been uh, a Hebrew Israelite uh -huh. talking about she had a prophecy the Lord told her to tell me that I should tell uh, the members of the truth of God that all the blacks hmm. are Hebrew Israelites. What is that to God? That's right. What is that? Black don't obey God. You're going to hell black. You go to hell white. You go to hell brown or yellow. That's right. That's right. 
You see, I don't believe nothing. We had a saying in the hood, I don't believe Nathan. Amen. We would say, we don't believe Nathan. Nathan. When I came up in the 70s, then they would say, Nathan shaken. Right. We don't believe Nathan. Nathan. You can't convince me that God said nothing. Nothing. When that thing contradicts what he already said. That's right. Because God says there's nothing new under the sun. Under the sun. In order for you not to get caught up mm. in the prophetic, or should I say, in the pathetic, pathetic. drama that pose as prophecy. That's right. You got to be scripturally educated. Yeah. Otherwise than that, if you are scripturally illiterate, yeah. a false prophet can prophesy you right into hell. That's right. Or prophesy you right into adultery. That's right. What do you mean, Pastor Jennings? A false prophet can come mm -hmm. and hear you and your wife separated. Thanks, brother. You can just set it over there. Separate it. Wife not even dead yet. And all of a sudden, a false prophet come. Go off with some time. That's right. Jiggling, jiggling. That's right. Glory to God. And after he throw off that jiggling tongue, he tell you, thus saith the Lord. Save the Lord. You don't have to wait for your wife to die. Yeah. The Lord said he have another wife waiting on you. Yeah. Now, Satan already see you're lonely. Yeah. Satan already see you have wants and have needs. That's right. So he sent a false prophet to give you a pathetic prophecy That's what right. makes it pathetic because God have already spoken that she got to die right. before you get another one That's right. he spoke it already he said it. and when you are ignorant to the true agenda of God to the true will of God your ignorance makes you vulnerable for deceptive prophecy that's right knowledge Fortifies you. That's right. And give you a biblical defense Amen. against pathetic <laughs> prophecy. Amen. Not prophetic, pathetic. Pathetic. Amen. That's right. All prophecies. That's right. When it don't come from God, fails. Fails. That's right. I say all of it. All of it. Because God say my word will not. Return unto me void. Remember? And what was it? The 2020 election, was it? Yeah. Was it the 2020 election? When Trump was running for office? And the world of evangelical nuts was all jumping around. The Lord said, one, one uh, evangelical preacher said, the Lord said, Trump is the savior Trump is the savior of the world another one said Lord. the Lord told him that Trump is going to win the election by a historical landslide so then the spirit of deception went around America and went around the world Paula White that's the right. Devil really got a hold of her. Really got a hold of her. I see angels from Africa, angels from Japan, angels from uh Swahili, Shababo, Shata, Tapa, TK, Stupa, Amalaya. That's right. That's right. That's right. When you don't know scripture, you are suckered. Yeah. And to believe in a form of godliness. Mm -hmm. Let's get an understanding. There's godliness and then there's the form. Mm -hmm. Do you know the difference? The form of godliness look like it. Sound like it. 
appear like it, act like it, and it's not it. Have you ever met someone that resemble a relative? But they ain't it. Having a form of godliness. Do you hear this? In 2 Timothy chapter 3 and verse 5. Having a form of a godliness. Form, form. Of godliness. But deny they deny the thereof. But God is not in it. He's absent from it. From such turn away. From such run to it. From such turn away. From such say amen. From such turn away. From such be a part of it. From such turn away. From such join it. From such turn away. No, from such encourage it. From such turn away. That's right. How can you turn away, turn away. from fake prophecy if you're not being able to be taught to identify reality from formality. That's right. That's right. That's why we take our time and chisel the book. Amen. Break it down. You know where a, a man who sculpture, he chiseling, chiseling. that sculpture, that statue, breaking it down. Uh, to the form that he won't come to surface. That's right. I want to chisel your carnal mind. Yeah. Because I want the spiritual mind that's behind all that come to surface. That's right. You see, that's why God wants to break up the stony heart. Yeah. And give you a heart of flesh. Because when you are stony heart, you're not receptive to the intelligence of God. That's right. But if you have a heart of flesh, the flesh can be shaped, molded, fashioned because flesh is clay. Yeah. And God wants to form and shape your emotions so it is centered around his word. That's right. Are you getting what I'm telling you? That's right. What did he say there? Now in the book of Deuteronomy chapter 18 and at verse 20. Listen. But the prophet which shall presume to the speak a word. which shall presume. To speak a word in my name. Oh. Presume. Oh, they doing it too. Oh, they doing it. The Lord said this. The Lord said that. Amen. The Lord said the other. The other. Mm. They're out there prophesying my death. My God, my God. I'm supposed to be dead. The mm. COVID supposed to have killed me. They prophesied that I'm going to die from the COVID. My Lord. I ain't going nowhere till God said so. That's right. You just want me gone. That's right. Amen. Right. They want the truth of God worked not to exist because no. mm -hmm. they, they, they don't want people to keep hearing about it that, that's right. everywhere you go truth of god this truth of god that truth of god the other truth of god the other yeah one man said i'm sick of the truth of god <laughs> amen that's what jesus came for yeah did you know viewers that jesus came for the truth of god that's right that's what Jesus came in, for. In Romans 15 and at verse 8. I'm not making it up. The Bible says Romans that's what Jesus came for. That's Give right. chapter and verse again. Romans chapter 15 and at the 8th verse. Says what? Now I say. Glory be to the most high. Now God. I say. Now I said that, Jesus, that Christ Jesus Christ was a minister. He was a, a minister servant of the circumcision. Of the circumcision for what? For the truth of God. That's right. That's what he came for. That's, what came for. That's right. That's why I said that heaven stands behind it. That's right. He backs it. Hallelujah. He pushes Hallelujah. it. Hallelujah. Heaven promotes it. That's right. Angels agree to it. <laughs> That's right. That's right. That's something, brother. God say he stood behind it with signs and wonders and Divers miracles and gifts of the Holy Ghost according. Yes. So we we'll take God to his own God witness. also bearing them witness. God bear them witness. Both with signs, signs and, and wonders. Wonders. And with and divers, divers miracles. And gifts of, gifts the, Holy Ghost of the Holy Ghost. According to what? To his own will. God's will is being done. Yes, it is. In earth. <laughs> That's right. As it is in heaven. That's right. And he's given us this day. That's right. Our daily bread. Yeah. Not just our natural bread, but uh, he makes his preacher a bread distributor. That's right. Jesus said, I'm that bread from heaven. From heaven. And we got the bread in the form of scripture. Yeah. And we just can't push the whole loaf on you. No. At one time, 
We have to rightly divide it so it must be sliced. That's right. That's how you rightly divide something. You slice it. Slice it. And we got the sword here. Yeah. And we take our time to slice it. That's right. Scripture by scripture. Yes. We're slicing it precept upon precept. Line upon line. line. Upon line. A little. And so we can serve it and give a little here. And there a little. And give a little there. That's right. When you give a little here, that's Old Testament. A little there, that's New Testament. But it all comes from the same bread, from the same source, from the same word, from the same Christ, from the same spirit. That's, that's right. the same God. That's right. Are you getting it? That's right. Go back to Deuteronomy now. Back in Deuteronomy chapter 18 and verse 20. Follow me. But the prophet which shall presume to speak a word in my name. Watch the result. Which I have not commanded him to speak. I didn't authorize him to say it. Or that shall speak in the name of other gods. Speak in the name of other gods. Even that prophet Even shall die. Even that prophet. Now, this is what God said. God said it. That prophet, that prophet shall die. Shall die. And if thou say in thine heart, if you say in your heart, how shall how we know the word? Shall we know the word which the Lord hath not spoken? I want everybody to pay attention. Amen. Everybody. Yes. How shall we know God didn't say these words? When a prophet speaketh in the name of the Lord. When a messenger Speak in the Lord's name. If the thing follow not. And it don't happen. Nor come to pass. It don't come to pass. That is the thing which the Lord hath not spoken. The Lord ain't never said Geno Genesis <laughs> is going to be in a limousine with about seven or eight faggots. That's right. Never said that. He ain't never said it. That's right. No. no. That's a lie that did not have to be told. That's right. That's right. They didn't have to tell that. They didn't have to say that. Amen. How do we know it? When a prophet speaketh in the name of the I Lord. I want everybody to hear this. You, you viewers. Mm -hmm. You in some church today. Where somebody is getting up and telling you claim your healing. Yeah. Preacher get up and say. Thus saith the Lord. The Lord said you're healed. That's right. If I'm healed. That means I am delivered from that thing. Yeah. It doesn't linger. That's right. Mm -mm. No, no, no. It doesn't linger. Right. I don't feel nothing from it no more. No more. Healed mean delivered. Delivered mean it's not a part of my being no more. No more. That's right. So if God healed me. From a bad back, you know, I injured my back years ago, mm -hmm. and God never healed me from it. Mm -hmm. It's just some days it feels better. Right. Then uh, there are days it remind me, here we are. <laughs> Nick, I'm back again. That's right. Still there. That's right. And that's where we make the mistake. Some days we feel good, and we say, oh, thank you, Jesus, you healed me. Then a few hours later, whew. that's right. Jesus, I thought I was no. Yeah, you made an early declaration. Yeah, healing you delivered from. That's right. You don't struggle with it. You're still not dealing with it at all. At all. And we need healing in all the elements of our being. That's right. Don't ever ask God to heal you just when you physically got a problem. Yeah. You consist of more than a physical body. Yeah. Your body is just simply the temple of the living God. That's right. You need internal and external healing. That's right. Your mind needs to be healed. Because the kernel mind is a sickness. Oh, yes. That can contaminate the whole temple. That's right. The kernel mind is enmity. And it's against, against God. God. And it keeps us from being subject to the law of God. So ask God to deliver you, heal you, rescue you from your own mortal thoughts. That's right. Then ask God to heal your heart. Because many of us lack emotional discipline. Right. And the heart is the most deceitful thing, and it's desperately 
wicked. Wicked. Yes, sir. And the heart lure you into areas where you ain't got no business being. That's right. Then your heart get broken over some man and some woman, and then you sit in church and can't get in service because you're worrying about Brother Jim and Sister Sally. <laughs> That's right. You see, Brother Jim, you can't even get in service yeah. because Jim won't look at you. Yeah. And you're trying to look at him. <laughs> you don't get Jim attention, you get in some spirit. That's right. And you go right through that audience, just <laughs> twisting. That's right. Stand up, Rob. Yes, and you target Jim. Yeah. And right where we right where Jim is. Amen. Am I right, I said? Amen. <laughs> Got to get next to Jim. Jim. Mm-hmm. That's right. Amen. Amen. That's not an anointing. No. That's the devil. That's, that's right. Get me. It, what of God says when a prophet's in Deuteronomy let's trail this I want to trail this scripture after scripture we're laying a good highway here and I want to lay scriptural brick <laughs> that's right huh? that's right I got to lay brick with scripture so every place our feet step is step on scripture yeah I want us to recognize false prophets I don't care if they baptize in the name of Jesus Christ preach Holy Ghost speaking in tongue it's more than that false oh. prophets been preaching that for years that's right that's what make them a serpent. Yeah. A serpent speak truth and lies. And lies. Pastor Dennis, the Lord said he's going to be in the limousine with about seven or eight fags. <laughs> fags. You know they really hate Pastor Dennis. Yes, they do. No, they hate you. Amen. They hate you. Can you imagine that? Amen. Pastor Dennis is going to be riding with a bunch of sissies. Mm. <laughs> Oh, when, when, when Brother Shabazz told me about it, I, I, I had to laugh. I said, come on, Shabazz, you're joking. He said, no, <laughs> no. He said, man, that, I, he said, I think that statement was made about three or four months ago. The Lord, he said, the Lord, Lord said it. My Lord. The Lord ain't said nothing. That no. was blaspheme. That's right. That's right. That was blaspheme. That's when you true. lie against the Holy Ghost and do it deliberate, deliberately, use a blasphemer. That's right. Deliberately. deliberately. Right. What? And if thou say in thine heart, how shall, say we know in your the heart, how shall we know the word? Which the Lord has not spoken. That the Lord did not say. When a prophet speaketh in the name of the Lord. When a messenger. That's all prophet mean. Messenger. That's it. Speak in the Lord's name. If the thing follow not. The no thing don't happen. Pass, and it don't come to pass. That is the thing which the Lord has not spoken. They ain't never going to happen. Never. Never. Think of it. That's never will happen. It never will happen. Because I don't drive in limousines. I don't like them. No. I've been offered limousines. Yeah. And them that know me know I don't like them. That's right. I, only, I don't even like to ride in them. That's right. Mm -mm. I, don't, I, I can't stand them. To me, they're ugly. Amen. I'd rather have a 1932 Packer. <laughs> with real chrome. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. yes, sir. Yeah. Amen. Give me a 1932 Packer with real chrome. 12 cylinders. Yeah. Huh? Amen. On that grill right up. Yeah, that, that'll do me well. Yeah. Hey man, or give me a 1939 Cadillac Fleetwood. Yeah. Or give me a 1947 Lincoln two-door coupe. Yes, you can keep your old raggedy limousine. Yes, That's right. Yes, Amen. 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 Listen at this. When a prophet speaketh in the name of the Lord, know the Lord's voice. Mm. Book of Kings. Kings, yes. Know the Lord's voice. Right. How do God talk That's through right. scripture? God's voice, God's words, God's message never is in contradiction of the contents of scripture. That's never. Right. Never. Never. Regardless how much a man shout, scream, yell, he can yell at the top of his lungs. Ah! That's right. Gino, Gino! That's right. Yes, sir. Gino, like you want to string him. Gino, Gino! Amen. 
Amen. Amen. <laughs> it doesn't matter. And that don't matter. Just be cool and come back to Bible. That's right. Get me well, get this. In the book of 1 Kings chapter 19 and that oh, verse 10. Oh, God, I want to educate you today. Yeah. That way you don't get so enthused and start a huck a buck and jump in behind a pew when a false prophecy come forth. That's right. Get it some spirit. <laughs> Oh, shut up. That's right. <laughs> Examine that prophecy Examine with scripture. Examine it. That's right. That's right. If you invest in stock and bonds and that stock market report go across, if you don't know how to read a stock market report, you don't know what you're making. That's right. Oh, you know, you see numbers going by. <laughs> Amen. If you don't know scripture, you don't know whether that prophecy is legitimate, legitimate. or from hell. That's right. But when you know scripture, it'll keep you calm. Yeah. In place. That's right. Not so quick to get enthused. Yeah. You become a divine investigator over them who try to proclaim. Right. God said it. That's right. You see, I, I, I don't get. Uh, overwhelmed and excited because I'm a scriptural inspector. <laughs> That's right. I look for clues. Amen. See, can I find where the Lord said it? Wait. I'm going to the scripture with my lens of understanding. Yes. Because the false prophet leave clues. <laughs> That's right. He leave clues, mm. proof, and evidence yeah. that he's a liar. That's right. Hey! That's right. Who will say God? I want to teach us biblical forensic science. Wonderful. You know, in CSI, you have them that investigate the crime scene. Yeah. And uh, the police call the forensics. Yeah. And the forensics come, they know what to look for. Mm -hmm. They pick up fibers, That's put right. them in plastic bags. That's right. They categorize all pieces of evidence yeah so when i'm told of what a false prophet said yeah. i categorize yes. all, the all the words and look for evidence yeah. and i take what was said and compare it with the scriptures of proof that's right this is my lens that's right I use scripture to dust off the spot Amen. so I can look at the fingerprint of a liar That's right. and see the fingerprint versus what he said yeah. don't balance out with scripture right right dust it down, dust it down. and when I dust it down the truth come up I don't feel no anointing that's right I can't say amen right. I don't speak in tongues from it right why because the evidence been dusted down yeah. thoroughly amen Wonderful. Wonderful. So then I have to go to my book of scripture yeah. that's full of past evidence. That's right. Of criminal profiles. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Do you know how to profile, profile. a false prophet? Amen. Go ahead. Man. Do you know the profile, profile. of a false prophet? A false prophet. First of all, Jeremiah chapter 23. Yes. Jeremiah. First of all, mm -hmm. false mm -hmm. prophet, compound word. False, false. fake. False, artificial. Right. False, not real. That's right. False, not legit. <laughs> That's right. Prophet, messenger. Messenger. False prophet, fake messenger. Yeah. False prophet, a unreal messenger. A wicked messenger. In Proverbs 13 and verse 17. False prophet, a representative of Satan. That's right. Come in the name of the Lord and hate the Lord who he mentioned. That's right. I want to say, how can you say that, Pastor Jennings? Satan don't love God. No. But Satan know people do love God. Yeah. But Satan won't come in his own name. No. Satan come in the name that folks love. That's right. The name of Jesus Christ is more popular than the name of Lucifer. That's right. So Satan won't come in his own name. No. He come in the name of Jesus Christ 
and then allow his preachers to preach Jesus by pretense. By pretense. Let's get Bible for it. In the book of Philippians. Follow me, follow me, follow me, follow me now. Amen. I want to take my time and outline this. We don a criminal profile of your pastor. Hmm. Your false prophet. <laughs> That's right. You liar. That's right. Mm -hmm. In Philippians chapter 1, we'll start at verse 15. All right. Some indeed preach Christ. Some mm -hmm. indeed preach, preach Jesus. Even of envy and strife. Amen. They preach Jesus out of jealousy. That's right. Which describes what I was just mentioning. Mm -hmm. The Lord showed me this. The Lord envy, showed me envy. that. Sometimes even women come with false prophecies. Yeah. Somebody marriage, they marriage may didn't work. So they tell a sister, well, look, the Lord showed me you're going to die and I'm going to have your husband. <laughs> My Lord. Go to that sister, head hanging down and hair gets all in her face. Hallelujah, shalala. Sister! That's right. That's 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 the uh, propeller spirit. The propeller. You know, like a helicopter. When it come around, it, it builds up momentum, then it slow down. <laughs> you keep waving, she'll mess around and go up in the air like Mary Poppins. That's right. That's right. Ha la 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 la. <laughs> that's the devil. That's the devil. It sounds funny, but by me coming out of falsehood, I'm actually telling you what I witnessed. Amen. And many of us that are here came out of false churches can bear witness to what I'm saying. Yeah. Some of these are the bishop's wives. Right. Some of these are the elders' wives. My Lord. Deacons' wives. Always got a pathetic prophecy. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Come to us, sister. Sister, the Lord told me to tell you. I don't know how to tell you this. 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 No, 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 no. Got to get one more dip out of it, you know. Lord told me to tell you that you're going to die, sister, and God purposed that I have your husband. Don't take it bad. I have it. My Lord, my Lord. I had a wicked uncle. He's dead now in a Christless grave waiting for hell. We call him Uncle Doc. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and uh, his wife, my great aunt, truly was a holy, sanctified woman. Aunt Lissy. That woman had the Holy Ghost speaking in tongue and baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. I mean, she was one of them old school mothers. When I say filled with the Holy Ghost, when the Spirit would come on that old woman, it was a sight to see. Mm. My uncle, one of the servants of Lucifer, and a false prophet, Lord. prophesied from hell that his wife would die before him. Mm. Went as far as writing up her obituary Lord. and she wasn't dead <laughs> and he said the Lord said it mm. who is he that says and it come to pass and it come to pass the Lord commanded when the God. Lord did not command it. not command it so God stepped in and killed my uncle and my great aunt outlived my uncle after the uncle said, the Lord said it, he had the obituary already written with the date of her death, bought the burial plot, My and Lord. had the tombstone made. My Lord. And God put him in the ground. Mm. My Lord. Do you remember the story of Hananiah and Jeremiah? Jeremiah. The Lord said through Jeremiah that Israel will serve under the yoke of Nebuchadnezzar. Nebuchadnezzar. Hananiah lied and said, Thus saith the Lord, the Lord, Israel will not, not. serve That's right. under the yoke of Nebuchadnezzar. That's right. Jeremiah heard it. Jeremiah didn't get excited. He just said to Hananiah, Amen. Amen. <laughs> Whatever the Lord said. Whatever the Lord. 
Then the word of the Lord comes back to Jeremiah. Yeah. And he told Hananiah, thus said the Lord. That's right. That tomorrow, yeah. or you're going to die. Right. The Lord has not sent thee. The Lord, listen at this. In the book of Jeremiah 28 and verse 15. He said what? Then said the prophet Jeremiah unto Hananiah the prophet. What? Hear now, Hananiah. Hear now, Hananiah. The Lord has not sent thee. That's what I'm saying. The Lord is, uh, that's, right. that's right. The Lord said, Pastor Jen is going to be in a limousine with seven gay men. What do we say about that? The Lord has not sent thee. God ain't sent you. No. God ain't sent you no more than a duck can smoke crack and sell it in <laughs> Alabama until you have a whole fleet of chickens working for him. Amen. And he's big daddy pimp duck. See him walking down government street. My Lord. Everybody say, hey, there's pimp duck. <laughs> and when he say what's up, he say, what <laughs> <laughs> Yes, hey, what, what's up, Pim Duck? What, 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 <laughs> what, what, <laughs> you bunch of heathens. Bunch of heathens. You church going suckers that believe anything. That's right. You see, we come with a plain in your face gospel. That's right. And one thing that preachers hate about this, mm. it pulls the cover off of their hypocrisy. Yeah. God is real. That's right. And you religions are playing with him. Yeah. But God ain't playing with you. No. Jeremiah told Hananiah. The Lord has not sent thee. God ain't sent you. But thou makest this people to You're trust in a lie. This is what false prophecy does. Thou makest you this make people, the people to trust, trust in a lie. In lies. Therefore thus saith the Lord. What did the Lord say? Behold I will cast thee from off the face of the earth. This year thou shalt die. This year. And how did it work out? Because thou hast taught rebellion against the Lord. Now, when you said the Lord said something and he didn't, he didn't. and your people believe it, that's right. The people are acting out what you told them. That's right. So therefore, what are they learning? Thou hast taught rebellion against the Lord. So now you make the people through your fake teaching hard head. That's right. And when you make them rebellious, they all are servants of a witchcraft spirit. Mm. Book of Samuel. Samuel, yes. That's it. That's it. Oh, let's atomize this. That's right. A witchcraft spirit. And you will find people in these churches strange acting. Yeah. They have a saying down here in Alabama, they're gooned out. <laughs> Amen. Gooned out. My Lord. Drink Alabama goon juice. Goon juice. All gooned out. That's right. That's right. When you're taught fake prophecy mm -hmm. and your followers believe it. Believe it. Now the followers become servants That's right. of witchcraft That's right. because you have taught them rebellion. rebellion. I want you to look at witchcraft and the word rebellion. In 1 Samuel chapter 15 and at verse 22. You see how this bill so tight? Oh yes. Chapter and verse. 1 Samuel chapter 15 and verse 22. Get me him and family. And Samuel said, Hath the Lord as great delight in burnt offerings and sacrifices as in obeying the voice of the Lord? Yes. Behold, to obey is better than sacrifice. Yes. And to hearken than the fat of ram. Uh -huh. For rebellion. Rebellion. Is as the sin of witchcraft. And what else? And stubbornness is as iniquity and idolatry. Amen. When you teach rebellion, rebellion. the people take on the spirit right. of that false prophet who himself is rebellious. That's right. And when the people live by that fake teaching, yeah. they become spreaders yep. of blaspheme. Mm. Servants of a witchcraft spirit. My Lord. That's why the preachers tell the people, don't listen to Geno Jennings. And yet they listen. Yeah. That's what they say. Don't listen to Geno Jennings. Mm -hmm. They don't tell them don't listen to Jake's. Right. Don't listen to Creflo Dollar. Right. No. They don't tell them that. Don't listen to Geno Jennings. Too many of y'all listening to him. <laughs> y'all the preacher listening to us. Yeah. That's right. Amen. I no, don't like it. They desire. I, I heard from a preacher like that I haven't heard from in years out of Quintman, Georgia, Elder Hadley. 
Mm. Contact me uh, about a month, month and a half or two months ago. I ain't heard from Hadley in years. He said, Pastor Jennings. I said, Hadley? He said, yeah. <laughs> I said, what you doing calling me? He said, man, I don't miss your program. I watch it every day. Wow. He said, uh, he said, one of my customers happened to ask me, do you know a Geno Jennings? He said, yeah, I know Geno Jennings. And he began to tell Hadley how he saw an old telecast. Remember when I broke up that statue that we thought was Mary? Well, Hadley was there on Frankfurt Avenue in the pulpit. Yeah. And Hadley said, brother, I'm coming to Philadelphia. I want to see you. I want to see that beautiful work that you're doing. He said, let me say this. He said, I tell the fellows who don't like you. They're jealous of you. He said, but I tell them. Which one of us mm. is doing what Pastor Jennings is doing? Amen. You say, man, I like him. He said, but ain't nobody in America is God using to preach holiness like he is. That's right. He said, brother, I will admit it to anybody. Amen. He said, they don't like you. He said, but one thing I love about you, you're focused. And I am focused. Oh, yes. He said, you're doing a good work. Yeah. He said, brother, I'm proud of you. He said, I'm telling you. I'm proud of you. He said, there are things I wish I could have done. He said, but it wasn't God's will for me to do it. He said, but God will for you to do it. And he said, I commend you. You're doing an excellent job. And all the ones that are jealous, he said, they may as well face the fact. It is nothing that they can do because they're not doing nothing. Nothing. Amen. As the old song they used to sing, let the church say, <laughs> let the church say, <laughs> let the church say, <laughs> everybody might say, you don't like it, say it. You can't help but say it. Oh, yeah. False prophet got to say it. Your false church got to say it. You liars got to say it. Yes, sir. Let the church say it. Let the church say, you can't stop it, say, yes, amen, yeah, let the church say, let the church say, let everybody say, yeah, hallelujah, Let the truth of God say. Everybody say. Yeah. Oh yeah. Everybody say. Oh yeah. Yes, sir. Everybody say. Everybody say. They don't like that, Pastor. That's what they might as well say. Hallelujah. 
the same man to it. They don't like that, Pastor. You don't like it? They don't like it. But they got the same man to it. You can't stop it, I said. Hallelujah. But they got the same man to it. Hallelujah. 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 The scripture says, thus saith the amen. Hallelujah. You don't like it. Well, they don't like it. Can't do nothing about it. Oh, they don't like it. And when you can't do nothing about it, you might as well come back, come back. and say amen. amen. Let the church say amen. Let the church say amen. Don't stir him up, Pastor. Don't <laughs> stir him up, brother. Hallelujah. 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 Yes, that's us. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Can't get away from it. You might as well say amen to it. This is the Lord's doing. Hallelujah. You preachers, instead of fighting it, you might as well come and run with it. Hallelujah. Like so many thousands are doing. Hallelujah. So we say, God, let's come on back now and finish this out. Hallelujah. We just want to preach it, shout it, shout it, sing it. That's right. Testify about it. That's right. Glory to God. Hey! What did he say? For rebellion is that the of witchcraft. Hallelujah. Praise his great name. Hallelujah. 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 Praise his great name. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Praise yes, to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. When you realize Hallelujah. that you're up against the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. When you realize you're up against the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. You might as well just give up. Give in. And just say amen to it. Hallelujah. Amen. Jeremiah. Jeremiah chapter 23. Chapter 23. And at verse 21. All right, come on. I have not sent these prophets. (laughs) I haven't sent these prophets. Yet they reign. They out on their own. I have not spoken to them. Yet they prophesy. God ain't never said one thing. That's right. That contradict this. That's right. Because God say he that believe on me. As the scripture, as the scripture have said, that's right. Out of his of belly, belly shall flow rivers. Oh, it's hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shall flow rivers. Hallelujah. Of living water. For this speaking of the spirit that they should receive, because the Holy Ghost had not yet been given. Because Jesus has not yet been glorified. Hallelujah. What did he say? I have not sent these prophets. Hallelujah. 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 I haven't sent these prophets. Yet they ran. Yet they ran out. I have not spoken to them. I haven't told them nothing. Yet they prophesied. Hallelujah. I haven't spoken to them. And what they still doing? Yet they prophesied. 
Hallelujah. I haven't have not spoken to them. Yet they but prophesied. what are they still doing? Yet they prophesied. Hallelujah. Now. Hallelujah. If you would do what he's about to read. Yes. You will have the results of scripture. But, but if they had stood in my counsel. Blessed be the name of God. Hallelujah. If they have stood in my counsel. And take the advice of God. And had caused my and people. Cause, cause my, my people. To hear my words. Not to hear your words. To hear, hear my God's words. That's right. And if you cause the people to hear God's word, what did God promise? Then they should have turned them from their evil way. And then what? And from the evil of their doings. Amen. I see the hallelujah. Hallelujah. I see the people turning. They're turning. From the evil way. That's right. That's right. Canada, America, South America, Puerto Rico. Amen. All across the Caribbean, New Zealand, yeah. Ireland, Scotland. Germany, India, that's right. United Arab Emirates, yeah. Greece, Israel, Jerusalem. Yes. Letters is pouring in out of Damascus. Wonderful. Glory to God. Wonderful. Letters is pouring in. Uh, we had some sent to the Netherlands and some came from Macedonia. Wonderful. Met them in the ne Netherlands. Went down in water. Amen. From Macedonia in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. This is a good gospel. Oh, yes. Know how to recognize That's right. a pulpit liar. That's right. A pulpit deceiver. Amen. You will know them by their fruit. By their fruits. When the roots of a tree is dead, don't expect much fruit on the branches. That's right. Because the root is dead. That's right. That's right. Did you hear that? Beware of false prophets. If the root of a tree is dead regardless of how pretty the tree is, pretty is. If the roots are dead that's right don't look for much fruit that's right that's right a good tree good tree even so every good tree did you hear this in matthew 7 and verse 17 even so every good tree every every good tree bring it forth it produces fruit. Good it fruit. produces what? Good fruit. That's right. We got some good fruit here. Good fruit. That's right. And it's producing, producing. not baskets, but orchards. <laughs> That's right. Oh God, man, we got orchards. Amen. Fields. Go with take God in fields of fruit. Fruit. Just growing all around Australia and New Zealand, across the South Pacific. Near Japan, That's right. Fiji Islands, Samoan Islands, Solomon Islands, Wonderful. Cook Islands. Amen. Amen. Man wrote me and said, please send someone here. I'm in Japan. I want to be baptized. Wonderful. In the name of Jesus Christ. Vietnamese writing in. Mm. My God, man, I can't help this. That's right. The roots of the tree of the church is far reaching. That's because right. Because the water of these roots is living water. Living water. It's the Holy Ghost. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Oh, yeah. Glory to God. Living. Living. Living water. Glory to God. This speak he of the of spirit. The spirit. That's right. Living water living. watered these roots here. Yeah. Yes. You false prophets and deceivers and internet liars. You have made it about Pastor Jennings. Right. God have made it about his word. That's right. And that's where you keep missing out. That's right. You have made it about Pastor Jennings. Yeah. And viewers, the false prophets, they mad at you. That's why they call you Jennonites. <laughs> yeah. They either call you Jennonites or, right. or Genonites. <laughs> Amen. They don't like you if you thank God for me. No, they don't. If you thank God for Trump, they won't bother you. That's right. If you thank God for President Biden or Kamala Harris, they won't bother you. No, they won't. But if you thank God for Pastor Jennings, right away they say, oh, you're worshiping him. Worshiping. You're worshiping him. You're praising Pastor Jennings because yeah. God have used me to deliver thousands. That's right. God did it. God did it. God did it. Amen. God is done. That's right. 
When we go different places and brothers that are with me who have hands on witnesses of these experiences to see grown men straight from the street crying. Oh, yeah. Come up to the pole pit showing all the needle marks in their veins. Yes, sir. My Lord. Crying. My Lord. Showing their tattoos of the label of the gangs they're from. Mm. Crying. Grown men. Amen. Amen. Saying, I just want to give you my testimony. Mm. Through, your, through the preaching, this is what God delivered me from. Wonderful. Wonderful. Countless, a countless drug dealers, dope dealers. Men that had their own laboratory. Yeah. Selling drugs throughout the neighborhood. Gang bangers. We don't have this weak, watered down preaching. That's right. That's right. Amen. Amen. That, that weak stuff don't sustain nobody. No. You need something strong to calm that monkey down on your back. That's right. This thing make the backslider come back. Yeah. And all of you backsliders, even here in Mobile, you might as well get ready to come back to God. Come back. You just can't be out there and then come back and pick up where you left off. No. Oh, no. Now you're a backslider. Prayer got to be made over you. That's right. The Bible says uh, by the Apostle Paul, by God's permission, if any man be, over, be overtaken in the fault, mm -hmm. ye which are spiritual, restore such a one in the spirit of meekness, considering yourself, lest I also be tempted. So if I got any backsliders here, you might as well come on in. If you're outside, come on in here. That's right. So we can pray over you. And restore you back to God. That's right. If you're outside or if you're inside, come on. Come on. And get restoration between you and God. That's right. That'll keep you out the lake of fire. Yeah. Any backslider, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. What's Amen. a backslider? A backslider is not just one that sin. A backslider is one that leave God. Here's one coming down from outside. Come on up. Come on. Glory to God. Come on. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the name of God. Come on, backslider. Amen. God said I'm married Amen. to the backslider. That's a wonderful thing. Come on back to God. Hallelujah. Come on back. Hallelujah. Come on back. Let us pray. Eternal God, in the name of Jesus Christ, look down upon these men and women that are standing before you. You have spoken through your holy word. That if any man be overtaken in the fault, ye which are spiritual, restore such a one and the spirit of meekness, considering thine self, lest thine also be tempted. These that are standing here have backslid from you, went out there in the world, and the devil for that time took them over. But we thank you for your mercy that you didn't cut them off. Hallelujah. Yes, hallelujah. Glory to God. You didn't cut them off. You spared their life. Lord Jesus, as they stand here today, forgive them of every sin. Forgive them of every transgression. Pardon every iniquity. That they may walk with the word of God all the days of their life and continue earnestly for the faith once to lead them to the saints. Forgive them that they may be obedient and serve you till the day they die. Lord, rebuke the powers of the devil that will try to pull them back out again. Give them victory. Stand by them and be with them. These blessings we ask in the name of the Lord Jesus. Let every heart say amen. amen. All right. We thank God for you. You may be seated. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 These signs shall follow. Them that believe. believe. We are a bunch of believers. Oh, yes. Let's close out with Acts 2.38 now. Then Peter said unto them, repent. The whole city of Alabama got this to do. The entire city. That's right. Every pastor, every preacher, every deacon, every so-called elder, bishop, apostle, prophet, I don't care who you are. Amen. It's time for you to get on God's side. Leave all the churches. 
Churches that teach there's more than one God, don't even question the preacher. Just get up and leave. Get your hat. <laughs> That's right. And if your hat, no good. If it's cheap, leave it there. Let the preacher have it. Amen. Leave your hymn book and the robe. Yeah. Don't have nothing that remind you of the false church. That's right. Repent. Then Peter said unto them, repent. And what? And be baptized. That's what everybody got to do. Everybody got to be sorry about your sins and you must be baptized in water. That's right. In water. Repent and be baptized every one of you in the name, in of, the Jesus name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins. They get your sins washed away. And you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Anybody want to be Bible right? If you want to be right. And get saved the right way and right be way. baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Stand on your feet if you want it. Amen. Stand on your feet if you want it. All of you that are standing, you that's on this side, come out this way. You that is on that side, go out that way. Wonderful. You that's in the middle aisle, go right to the back. Amen. You that's on my left can go out of either one of those doors. Yeah, that's all right. Let them come out either way. Do you see how God is working? Do you see? Amen. Do you see? It? Hallelujah. This is what God is doing. What He's doing. Now, viewers, do you understand why the truth of God ignore that's these right. little mosquito false prophets? That's right. This is why we ignore them. Yeah. To us. They don't even exist. Wonderful. They're not even on the planet. Wonderful. Because we're busy in God's field. That's right. Working. That's right. Fishing. Catching souls. Amen. We're out on the yacht of the scriptures. Yeah. With our rod in all the waters. All the waters. Reeling in. Yeah. Amen. Our rod is never empty. That's right. Never empty. Never. I, I look at what the apostles did. You know... They went fishing one time and they didn't catch nothing. Mm -hmm. Lord told me, you're going, going back. Amen. Thank God it caught so much until the net broke. That's right. And I bear witness, the truth of God have experienced that. Yes, you want to be baptized, brother? All right, we're glad for you. Now, come on back at 5 o'clock. What time do we have? 2.37. Come on back at 5 o'clock. We will conclude this service. Viewers. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. <laughs> let me say to all my viewers, let me remind, let me, let me remind you. I'm pretty sure there's some already got their thumbs down and they're the same ones. Do not. Do not. Get into an argument with them. Because all they're trying to do is distract you from the word of God. When That's they right. want to talk about their past or whoever it may be, don't even comment. Let them say whatever they want to say. Let them call Pastor Jennings an antichrist, a cult leader. Uh, one man say I'm from Sesame Street. <laughs> but yet he watched me. <laughs> My Lord. Amen. Running out of names. They're Pastor. running out of names. Yeah. Amen. One man loved it so much he called Williams and I the Batman and Robin of the scriptures. Amen. <laughs> Amen. So viewers, don't argue with them. Do not do that. Let me tell you the words of Jesus. He says, do not after their works. Their works. Don't you let no one bring you down to their level of stupidity. I don't, you don't have to argue with them over Pastor Jennings. That's right. We got the word of eternal life. That's and right. God gave it to us. Yeah. You don't have to defend us. That's let right. the preachers talk about us until they get dry lipped. <laughs> Amen. Let them Amen. scream, holler, let them just say all day about Pastor Jennings. When you find men that do that, you ran up on someone who's obsessed. Yeah. Jealous. Because our tree, we have an orchard. That's right. Go with that God. We got orchards. That's right. Amen. I said we got orchards here. Amen. Amen. We thank God for this temple here in Mobile. I want to say to Atlanta, Georgia, God willing, we hope we be dedicating the new temple in Atlanta next year. We hope we be dedicating the new temple in Detroit next year. We hope we be dedicating the international headquarters this year. I got a text since I've been down here from our architect, Mufasa Mufasa. Uh, the balconies, all the 
uh, custom handrails. They are being mounted up. By the time we get back, all the rails probably are up now on the balcony. So when you get happy up there, you don't fall over. <laughs> the towel that we was waiting for. We got some towel, a design that I want to do the auditorium. And the place that I wanted it from didn't have it. So we contacted the country of Turkey. And had Tur Turkey made it up for us. Wow. And they shipped it here to America. Wonderful. And it came in last week. Wonderful. Amen. So the towel will start going up on the back wall of the balcony where the pipe organ used to be. And also on the back wall uh, of the pulpit where all that marble contraption is. And then we'll do the side walls. And then the central air units can get in because the word of God already make you hot. Amen. And we got to give you some type of something to cool off. <laughs> but in the main auditorium, they give us so much more room. Yeah. The magnified God, God knows. Yes. Amen. So we hope to dedicate that also next year. Also, we hope the Lumberton, North Carolina is complete so we can dedicate that. We bought a new temple in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Amen. I have to go there and we'll start that project. And I hope that's done by next year. We have to dedicate that next year as well. Amen. So we have a lot of work. Yes, sir. A lot of work. And I mean a lot of work. Oh, yes. Amen. So you pray for all the false prophets that they might repent. Some of them are baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Wow. But they just simply don't have the Holy Ghost. A lot of them don't have the Holy Ghost. Wow. Amen. You listen to some of the tongues that some of these fellows have. It's no Holy Ghost. Amen. A bowl of rice crispy sound better. <laughs> Amen. When the Holy Ghost is in something, you see the moving of the hand of God. That's right. You know, I, I'm telling you, brother, this, this thing about the hand of God moving, I read about it for years. But my Lord, I'm seeing it every place I go. Don't you see it? Amen. Bless the name of God. All right. Let us all stand. And uh, brother... Minister Jones, God willing, will close us out in prayer. Come on back at five o'clock. Heavenly Father, we thank you right now, Lord God, for this word that came forth today. Father God, we ask you to continue to bless us as our ears are heard. Father God, we thank you for our pastor and our leader. Continue to bless him, Lord Jesus. Give him strength. Them with the gift of the Holy Ghost. Father God, we thank you so kindly, Lord God, for what you've done here, not only in Mobile, Alabama, but all over the land. Father God, for your work spreading abroad and such a beautiful thing. Father God, we thank you for all that you've done. Father God, we thank you for even for the false prophet, how they continue just to speak of the truth because God, they know that it is the truth. And Lord God, we ask that you just continue to give them a heart of repentance that they might be able to repent of their sins. Father God, we thank you, Lord God, for how you've blessed us. Oh God, all we can say is amen. Amen to your truth, Lord. And we thank you, Lord God, for what you're doing in the truth of God. Father God, and as we depart this place, Lord, keep us and protect us as we come back, Lord, this afternoon. We ask all these blessings in the name of the Lord Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank God.